Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to run Tinker OS on your Tinkerboard from an external hard drive or a USB thumb drive. You will still need the SD card flashed and installed. Right here I have an external 1TB USB 3.0 drive. I definitely recommend using a powered drive, but I don't have one. You could also substitute it with a powered hub. This is a USB 3.0 128GB SAN disk USB thumb drive. And it works almost as well. It writes at about 60 megabytes a second, but the hard drive writes a lot faster. Let's go ahead and get started. This is fairly simple. We're going to be moving over to the PC. I'm going to show you how to flash Tinker OS to the SD card in your drive of choice. All right, guys, let's get right into it. It's pretty simple to do. You're going to need a few things. I'm going to be installing this to a one terabyte external hard drive. I definitely recommend using a powered hub with this. Once in a while, I have had my hard drive just stop working while running Tinker OS. I prefer using a USB 3.0 stick. 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick on Amazon was about 30 bucks. Definitely worth it. It's pretty fast too. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a hard drive because I know everybody wants as much space as they can get. First thing we're gonna need to do is go to Google and download Win32 Disk Imager. You could also use Etcher, but Etcher has a hard time finding a hard drive, like an external hard drive. If you're using a USB stick, you can definitely use Etcher. So go ahead and download this, install it. Next thing, Notepad++. I definitely recommend downloading this if you're editing any kind of files at all. This is just the go-to notepad for me. The built-in Windows notepad doesn't work well. Grab this, free to use, easy to download. Last thing you'll need is Tinker OS. So go to the Tinkerboard website, click on support, driver and tools, please choose others, others. We're going to scroll down and get Tinker OS Debian version 1.8. You can download it right there. So I have everything downloaded and installed. I also have Tinker OS 1.8 extracted on my desktop. I have my 16 gigabyte SD card right here, ready to be flashed. So we have to have an SD card to boot, but after it runs the boot files off the SD card, your operating system will be running from your external drive, be it a USB or an external hard drive. So we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. In the device dropdown, make sure you have your SD card chosen. Mine is drive F. Click on the blue folder. I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop where my Tinkerboard 1.8 version is. Just double click, and we're gonna write it to the SD card. Yes, so make sure your target device is your SD card. Click yes. Now this could take a little while depending on how fast your SD card is. Just let it finish up. So as you can see, I'm writing at almost 10 megabytes a second. That's pretty slow for this class 10 card, but I'm running from a USB 2.0 drive with an older card reader. So I'll show you the difference here when we write this image to the hard drive. Okay, the flash was successful. You might get a prompt like this because Windows can't read half of this partition. We're just gonna click cancel. Cancel. Now what we need to do is navigate to our freshly flashed SD card, drive F, EXT Linux, and our EXT Linux.config, C-O-N-F. We're gonna right click and open with Notepad++. From here, all we're going to do is change the MMC BLK 0P2 to SDA2. File, save. We're gonna exit out of here. Now we need to flash that same image to our USB drive or our hard drive, whatever you're using. So I'm gonna plug in my one terabyte hard drive now, taking my SD card out. So from here, make sure you know what drive letter this is. Mine is F, 1TB EX. That's the name of my one terabyte external hard drive. We're gonna do the same thing. Make sure you choose your external hard drive or USB. 
Mine's drive F. If you've left Win32 disk imager up, you should already have the image chosen. We're just flashing that 1.8 Tinker OS to the hard drive now. I'm going to click right. Yes. And as you can see at the bottom, instead of 10 megabytes a second, we're writing at 110 megabytes a second. Much faster. Now this doesn't mean you're going to get these kind of read and write speeds from the USB 2.0 port on the Tinker board but it's gonna be a lot faster than the SD card itself. Finished up super quick. All we need to do is take our SD card that we flashed with Tinker OS 1.8, plug it into the Tinker board. I'm also gonna unplug my hard drive that I just flashed and plug it into the Tinker board. Now we're gonna be moving over there. We're gonna boot this up and we'll be running Tinker OS from an external hard drive. All right, now that we have our SD card flashed and our hard drive or USB, whatever you're using, it's time to power up the Tinker board, but first we need to insert our SD card, and then we need to plug in our USB drive, if you use the USB drive, and you'll just plug it in like that and power it on. It'll start booting up from the USB. If you're using a hard drive, just plug it right into one of the free USB 2.0 ports. So I'm using this one terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power. Most USB hard drives have a light and you'll see it flash a few times. It's gonna resize the file system on the hard drive and boot up into the desktop. Now the first boot could take a little while, just let it sit and it'll boot up. So here's the first boot. It's just going to resize the file system on the external hard drive or USB, whatever you're using, and then boot right to the desktop. So here's Tinker OS 1.8. It's based on Debian Stretch. It's actually pretty stable, and I've had really good luck installing different applications and testing things out. So I'm going to show you right now that we are running from the external hard drive. I have a 16 gigabyte SD card in here, but as you can see, we have 878.3 gigabytes free in the file system. So we now have one terabyte hard drive plugged into the Tinker board, and it's going to be faster than the SD. Now, don't expect super performance out of it, but it's going to be much faster than the SD card can write and read. Plus, you can get a lot more space out of this. One terabyte versus 16 to 64 gigabytes. It's pretty good. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. If you guys want to see anything else with the Tinkerboard, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.